Hello friends! Okay, so we are just in like setup mode for all of my new planners. So currently this is my teacher planner. It's huge, it's bulky, it's like two planners in one and I'm ready to kind of simplify. I liked the idea of that setup, but uh, there's some things that I'm gonna take into this new teacher planner and some that I'm not. And this is not like a teacher planner. This is the socialite planner, but I love this layout for school stuff. So I'm very excited. So we're just gonna set this puppy up and I will kind of explain how I use it for a teacher planner or how I'm going to use it for a teacher planner. Also, if any of you guys got Socialite and you're like, man, I really hate the extras that came with it or I don't think I'm gonna use them, let me know and send them my way because I would love like a year's supply of those. So if anybody doesn't want them or if you want me to like pay for them, like I'm totally fine doing that. Absolutely, 100% will pay for them. So if you don't think you'll use them, you want me to buy them or you just wanna send them to me out of the kindness of your heart, any of the above options would be great. So what I'm doing first is I am putting my name decal in here. And typically in a teacher planner, I would put Mrs. Joseph, but I forgot to order Mrs. Joseph decals. So that's okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm okay with that. That will be fine. Alrighty, so who else is excited for new planners? I am, and I am someone that likes to like future plan, and we're coming up on like winter break at my school. Well, not exactly, we're like mid-November. We're coming up on Thanksgiving actually, but which means we're closer to winter break, hashtag teacher brain. And yeah, I'm ready to set up and get into a new teacher planner. I'm really excited to fill this out for the rest of the school year. Super, super excited. I'm just gonna pull my old teacher planner and put some things in here that I had from previous planners. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna break up these two years because really I'm just gonna be focusing on 2019 for now. So I'm gonna put this pocket folder, even though I don't really know what to use these for other than stickers. Like if you guys use them for something else, please let me know. Okay, so I've got like a helpful tips for the substitute, but I don't really use it and it's the August dashboard. I would like to put this in here to track field trips. So I'm gonna put this here and this came out of a classic size teacher planner. Okay, and then these are just the monthlies. This is to mark where I'm at. So oh, I will put this in the first weekly of January. I know that not all of these supplies necessarily match, but I'm okay with that. Some of them I just really love and I wanted to use again. This was a whole other like teacher planner back here. Checklists, paper. Okay, so back here, I think I'm gonna separate some things. Okay. So we have the hourly sheets that came with Socialite, but I have some note paper back here that I wanna use and some checklists. So we will just separate out the note paper and then I'll put some checklists in here too. So I really just want the teacher's gonna teach one because then I have the daily sheets also. But like you guys, these are so perfect for me as a teacher who works in an online environment because I call my students all the time. And so like having to-do lists, top priorities, and then like a call schedule basically, it's amazing. So if any of you are not using them, I want some more. <laughs> I might even like check in on the buy sell trade group see if anybody is selling them. So there is my extras tab and then behind that so this might be like somewhat of a quick setup video <laughs> and then i'll talk to you guys a little bit about how i plan to use it so this is the checklists tab also so i'll just put a couple of checklists in here to track students okay and certain things with students that we track in our job okay cool so there are extras in there. I'll just leave all of these extras in here. I think that is everything that I want out of the old planner. Okay, so then the last couple of things that I want to add in to this teacher planner before we talk about like how I'm going to use it for work is a 
set of socialite sticky notes because yes, they're so dang cute. Just love them. And I might even, like I could totally use these as a call log too. Those are perfect. But those half sheets, they are the most perfect. I'm gonna put in this like week at a glance just so I have it like right here, every single thing that's going on. Maybe like if I have to go somewhere or if I have to be out of town that day or if I have an important meeting, then as soon as I open my planner, I know that it's happening. It's like a quick reminder even, and I can even just like jot things down, that kind of thing. So I am gonna have that in there. And then before we go, I do have some really fun covers that I wanna put on my teacher planner. So this says, I teach muggles because Hogwarts wasn't hiring. Oh, you guys, if you don't know, I am obsessed with Harry Potter, like obsessed, like probably more than any like adult should be. So let's go ahead and give this gorgeous planner some gorgeous new covers. It's gonna look so pretty with the gold discs. Okay, BRB. Okay, how cute does that look, you guys? Like, how stinking cute does that look? Oh, I just love it so much. Okay, hashtag teacher planner. And then let's talk about how I'm gonna use this planner to make sure I am an effective teacher. So monthly, it's just kind of like an overview, you know, tracking goals, that kind of thing. So basically in my job, we are online teachers. My favorite part about this planner for a teaching planner is that the weekends are shaded. Of course, I do work on the weekends. Like teachers are supposed to be Monday through Friday, all of that, but of course we work on the weekends, but to not have like a place where I'm scheduling <laughs> work things for myself is nice because then I can focus on my life outside of work as well. So it helps to create work-life balance, which is healthy and totally important. So what I'm gonna do in this planner is on the shaded sections, I am going to put events that are happening for certain sections of my job. So certain sections of my job, I mean, I am an advisory teacher, but I also teach a class called High School Success. I also have meetings that I need to keep track of, and then I also am going to be tracking a couple of other things. So, and I'm also on the AVID site team. So if you are a teacher, you may or may not know what AVID is. If you have questions, leave that down in the comments below. AVID is an, well, I'll just run through it quick. AVID is an acronym. It stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. It is a program that supports students who really want to and who may not have support otherwise to get to college. So that's not necessarily targeting at-risk kids, but it is picking up and supporting kids who may either be like the first kid in their family to go to college, or they just are a student that we see a lot of potential in for going to college or to see to have higher education, but may not have like all of the tools to get there. So long story short. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna frame this for myself is, and it's, I know it's hard to see like the shaded sections, but it's a there's green squares every other square. So I'm gonna have my advisory duties here. Then I'm gonna have my high school success class schedule right here. And then I'm gonna have any meetings or like projects that I'm working on down here. So we'll have advisory duties. So whether that's like calling a kid that is needing support, planning things, doing welcome calls, that kind of thing. All of those would go here. My high school success class stuff would go here. That's the content area class that I teach. And then this would be anything like outside of that. So then I will also probably have like to-do lists here on the white shaded sections, or I can also put, you know, like fun stickers down there or what have you. Then I love over here also the top three this week. So I will be using that to like frame my like planning and all of that. And then tasks and notes that I need to be getting done. So those are all amazing things. I'm super excited. If you guys are interested in like a teacher or work plan with me in here, let me know. But this is now pretty much all set up. I'm super excited to have all of my planners pretty much set up. My next setup video will be my healthy hero or fitness planner. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I love and I adore you guys. You are some of my favorite people on the internet. And I just want to give you the biggest internet hug ever. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so much for all of your love and support. And if you want to find me on other social sites, you can 
find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And by the way, you guys, have fun today. Oh, 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 o